Good morning. Today I want to talk about the authority of Jesus Christ. As we are entering into 2021, there's something that brings stability to our lives, and that is the fact that Jesus Christ is Lord and that He never changes. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God's Word, God's message is the same as what it was before the world began. It is the same during the Old Testament. It's the same as what it was in the birth of Jesus Christ. The word is the same as what it was in the death of Jesus Christ. And his word, the message of God's rulership over the earth, is the same right now. It can never change. That is absolute good news because when we think of 2021, we want something that is stable, something that is a constant and something that is life-giving. Now, I would like to read from Matthew 28 and verse 18. This is a key verse in knowing that there is stability in the year to come or for the future. It says the following, Jesus was speaking to his disciples and he says, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. I think those are some of the most powerful words that can be doubted by a lot of people, uh, but it is the truth. Jesus declares that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto him. What does that mean? It means that all authority the final say, the final word is with him. What it also means is that the commandment that God gave Jesus is to be executed in every area where he has authority. Jesus has received a commandment of the Father to preserve our lives forevermore. It is something that he has to do. We can go and read that in John chapter 6, and we will do that in this week to come as well. So, Jesus has a commandment from the Father. All authority has been given unto him. So, he is now having a government, and he needs to govern. This government's jurisdiction is in all of heaven and all of earth. That is where Jesus rules, all of heaven, all of earth. So, as what we today in our normal governments that we have in our countries look at the government and we have a certain expectation of that government, we have a government, the true government, the government of Jesus Christ under which we stand, which we can submit to and from which we can expect the promises of the government to be fulfilled. So, if you look at your normal government, you look at it and you say, I expect them to do what they are supposed to do. They've been given authority, and the authority they have is to serve us with certain things. Our government has been given authority by us, and this authority that they then have over us is to create an atmosphere where we can do business, to provide an infrastructure, and so forth, to see that there's, an, there's a, a, a schooling and everything that it can take place. They are there, and there are many things that they had to do. We can make a list on what they have to do. In the very same way, there is the true government, the government of Jesus Christ, in the earth. That government has got a certain task to fulfill in the earth. That task is to preserve human lives forevermore. That means that it's the job of Jesus Christ to pour his spirit out on those who submit to his government, to bring forth fruit inside them, and to preserve their lives for evermore, meaning that even if they should die, they should be bodily raised from the dead to eternally live in the earth as the people of God. Under this jurisdiction of Jesus Christ, what is promised and what Jesus is supposed to bring forth is the very fullness of 
the Godhead or the fullness of God bodily in those that believe upon him. Isn't that a wonderful place to be? So Jesus comes and he says, all authority has been given unto me. So all authority to bring forth the fullness of the Godhead bodily in those that believe upon me, and there's no nation that's included, every place on the earth, this has, be, has been given unto me. So go to all nations and baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and teach them what Jesus Christ was saying. And we will find that Jesus will be with us always. So I've got good news for you. Jesus Christ will always be with you. As you are looking at 2021, there are certain things that you can know. As a believer in Jesus, you know, well, let me put it this way, if you believe it or not, all of the earth is under Jesus' jurisdiction. This rulership that he has is to fulfill what God told him he must do, which is to protect your life, bring forth the fruit of the Spirit inside you, care for you. As you submit to this government and not reject it or put your faith in any other government, you find that this Jesus who was raised from the dead, whom we maybe don't see now, will always be with us. How will he be with us? In the power of his authority wherein he brings to fulfillment what God commanded him to do. Isn't that absolute good news? So we can know that in 2021, we have a bright future because we are under the government of Jesus Christ. And let us not be distracted by other governments. There is only one true eternal government which dwarfs any other government. The greatest government there is, and the only true government there is, is that of Jesus Christ. The Bible says there is no end to his government. It is eternal. He cannot be impeached. He cannot be voted in or out. He is the Lord. And as we stand under him, we see how he faithfully fulfills what God commanded him to do. And his obedience has got everything to do with bringing you to the fullness of God bodily by his doing. God bless.